Hi, it's Karen from Crafty Karen Designs and I've got a friend in the craft room today and it's... It's Donna from Taffy Crafting. <laughs> <laughs> so we're having a bit of a play day um, and we've been making cards all morning but we thought we'd pop on here and do a card together. So we're going to use Donna's new stamp set which is Christmas Scotty and the Scotty Dog Punch which is just very cute. I didn't think I wanted this but now I think I do. I've convinced her <laughs> that she needs to buy it. Now I think I do. And what we're going to make is um, a joy fold card, but Donna usually calls it a flip-flop card. It's a flip-flop card. So <laughs> you pay your money and you take your choice. So let's show you how we're going to make it. So we've cut all, I've cut all the pieces out for, well, we both have. Um, and we're both going to make it together same card but using different um, sentiments and different colours and different DSPs um, and see how it turns out. So to start off with you need a piece of thick, whis not whisper white, it's not been whisper white so for a long basic time. basic white. Basic white which is nine and three eighths by four and a quarter. There's one I made earlier. There's one you made earlier. And that's going to be scored at... Where's my instructions? Six and a quarter. So it's like that. Oh, sorry. Score it at six and a quarter. There we go. And then we're going to flip it round that way. I'm just going to accuse her of pinching both bone folders. But she's not. <laughs> and then you I want... labelled yours. <laughs> you did. <laughs> and then you need another piece of thick whisper white, basic white. What's wrong with me today? I've not called it whisper white for years. Which is eight and a half by three and a quarter. And that we're going to score at four and a quarter. So that's the basic mechanism for your flip-flop card or your joy fold card it flips and it flops it does there we go so i'm using the um subtles paper stack and i'm using highland heather for mine what are you using donna i am using the dsp that's actually in celebration so if you spend 45 pounds or more you can have this dsp so because we kind of associate Scotty dogs with all things tartan. That's as tartan as I'm getting today. <laughs> so that's what I'm using. I, I don't know what it's called, but it is free in um, for a £45 spend. I don't know what that's so called. I can't either. remember. I don't have got a catalogue handy either. It's something about the afternoon. Is it? Is it something? I don't know. I don't know. But it's got, there's, there's the other side of that one. So it's quite floral as well. Um, it's, oh yeah, it's got birds on it. It's got all sorts of Houses, stuff. Houses, all sorts yeah. of stuff. It's lovely. Oh, show, show them your blue tits. <laughs> I can't. I've put them away. She's put them away. <laughs> as she should as well. The aim. It's, it's a family, a family show. show. <laughs> right. Let's get back to being sensible or trying to be sensible. Right. On this larger card, I've got a piece of DSP, which is six by four, I believe. Yeah. So I'm going to stick that one on the back of there. I think I did mine, because I like to be different, four and an eighth by six and an eighth. Well, there you go. I, <laughs> I'm a rebel. Depends how big a gap you want around yes. it. I like to be able to see the white card. So that goes on there, like that. Well, you've got a nice paper for contrast, haven't you? Yeah. I've already got white on my paper, so it doesn't. There we go. And then you need two pieces, which are I'm just two and I'm seven shop. eighths, are you? I'm in shock, just about. Two I've and seven eighths it. by four. Sorry, I'm trying to put you off now. It's all right. <laughs> one on there and one on there. Hang on, I've got there. I'm a professional. <laughs> I can work with heckling. You keep telling yourself that. <laughs> I can work with heckling. <laughs> we'll just add some multi-purpose liquid adhesive otherwise known as Tombow and 
Kids have come out, bang on cue. Yeah. All we need now is next door's dog to start barking and we've cracked it. And then we're going to put this piece on the front. Like that. Making sure you line up the bottom and the top with the piece on the back. I almost got my lines to line up, almost. Yeah. Why didn't I think of that? More luck than judgment, really. I haven't got anything on there, didn't do that. Were you not following the instructions? No. Oh, I like to go off piece. You do, don't you? So then this piece is gonna fit inside here like this. So we'll add that piece before we decorate it. Oh, should I stick that on there? So, well, I'm going to. Well, you're in charge, I'll follow along. <laughs> I've got some lines that'll help me get them sort of in the middle. So just add some glue to the back of it and position it just hovering above. A little prayer. Yeah, <laughs> add a little prayer to make sure you've got it in the middle. And that's in the middle-ish. Like that. There you go. I'm just eyeballing that. Bit of a... Yeah, that'll be fine. It will. If whoever receives this card gets a ruler out to measure that it's in the middle. Then they don't deserve the card. They don't anyway. get another card. <laughs> that'll be it. Friendship finished. Card. Right, then we've got a piece of DSP for the front, which is four by three. I'm going to add that to there, like that. Well, I was struggling to get that far, so I'll do the front in a minute. You carry on with your front, though. Right, I've got okay. a bit of paper. Right. <laughs> See, she's not paying attention. Not organised. What's that now? So as you can see, I've used three out of four of the designs. If my brain had taken me far enough, I'd have used the other one on there, wouldn't I? And then I've got all four. Why didn't you like, Why didn't you tell me that? I've absolutely no idea. Well, I've got three out of four, that's not there bad. There we go. So I've got mint macaron for this, because we've discovered, or by a matter of deception, decided that, that was mint macaron. Right, so this little Scotty punch, um, I think he's really cute. But I've punched him out in white and I'm going to make him like a little Westy, just to be different. So I've punched out two in white and we've got two bows and I've used um, Gorgeous Grape for that. So I'm going to add the bows to the dogs. I'm not like the easier said than done. I've still only got to the point where I'm putting my front on. Let's put that on there. I haven't decided how I'm going to decorate that yet. So, I'll have that on there, which won't glow. Won't glow. Like that. Oh, look at his cute bow. Or her cute bow. Whatever. Whatever you want them to be. So there's the two little doggies. Now we need some eyes. That's going to be fun. So I'm going to use... Um, these little black dots and I've absolutely no idea whether these are still current or not. No idea. But I couldn't even tell you what they're called. No, I couldn't either. The little shiny black dots. Could use a sharpie. <laughs> <laughs> oh, good, yeah. But stamping up don't sell those No, either. they don't, no. So a uh, marker. I'm not sure that's in the right place, but never mind. Things just have to be a bit wonky. What did it's I close. Do? Yeah. It's close-ish. And for the sentiment, I'm using... I was just going to show my evil Scotty dog that I, that I stabbed <laughs> and it's got an evil eye. <laughs> I'm going to use the charming sentiment and I'm going to use the wishing you the happiest of birthdays. I really like that. And I'm going to cut it out with the corresponding... Um, die. What do you call them? Shadow? Is it shadow? Oh, die? a shadow, shadow die. die. Oh, I don't know. That's a bit technical. For it's me. that. It's that one anyway. Yeah. But by the magic of television, I'm not doing this on camera. Oh. I've already done it. 
and she swore many I times. Did. I did. <laughs> they were a bit on the wonk. So here's one I did earlier. Lovely. I think it's really nice sentiment Perfect. that one. So I'm gonna put one facing that way. And that one facing that way. So I'm going to stick him down and use him as a bit of a latch to keep it closed. And then we'll put that down there. And I also cut out a little heart to go in the middle. Aww. I like Thank that you. red on there actually, a great big pop of colour. So we'll get some dimensionals. Where's the queen of dimensionals? Have you got any? Oh, there we go. I'm just going to sort the inside out of my card while you're doing that. So I've got a piece of Mint Macaron um, DSP. So I'm going to add him there. Like that, but only put the dimensional under his bottom because otherwise you won't be able to open the card. I'm going to sort the front of my card in a moment. I've stamped a happy birthday on basic white cardstock using the Celebrating You stamp set, so I've stamped out that one. So I'm going to stick that on in a moment, but before I do that, so what I did is I stamped out, not I didn't stamp out, I punched out a um, Scotty dog and then I cut his bottom off. So I'm just left with his head. He didn't half yelp. He did, he wasn't happy. So I'm going to just put that on there like that. And I like the fact it's a kind of, it's like a silhouette, isn't it? It is, yeah. Um, now, what I was going to do was do like a, a bubble, a speech bubble thing, but that's just way too much pressure on camera. So I'll do that later. <laughs> but I'm just going to stick my dog onto, um, onto the inside. I think that's really cute. Good idea. I sometimes have them. You do? Every now and again. I have to go and have a little lie down afterwards. <laughs> <laughs> right, I've added dimensionals to the back of this too, so we'll stick that there. It's made all the difference, the dimensionals on that. Popping of that course up it like has. That. This is the queen of dimensionals. Yeah. Have you ever noticed stamping up have run out of dimensionals? It's because Donna Lester's bought them all. I have. I like to stockpile. Right, we're needing a little um, sentiment in the middle. Like so, um, I think I'll have the lots of love out of that one there, please. So this one's Celebrating You, which I use loads and loads because it covers almost everything you can think of. I've got weddings, um, lots of love, just for you, happy anniversary, you're every bit wonderful, happy Father's Day, happy birthday, Easter, thank you, all sorts, Mother's Day. And I like to, when I use these ones, I like to colour them all in. Oh. Just because I can. I'm looking for lots of love. That's all. So I'm just going to stamp that on the inside. And then I'm done. And I'm going to use Gorgeous Grape. Because I didn't get out the Highland Heather. So this will do. Uh, I need a sentiment on mine and I didn't get that far when we were planning these. Um, I'm going to put a bow on this one, so I'm going to get a mint macaron bow.
I think it's really cute, this stamp set. I wasn't quite sure what Scotty dogs had to do with Christmas. They've got nothing to do with Christmas. <laughs> <laughs> I think on some sort of tartan type paper. Yeah. They should have brought this out when we had that tartan DSP a couple have. of years ago. That would have been great. A bit too much glue on there. I'll wipe that off in a minute. But yeah, I think I might I think I might need this after all. Well, you just might need me to visit again with my Scotty dog. Yeah. Or maybe I'll just borrow it and keep it yeah. for six months. <laughs> <laughs> so it runs out. I'm just going to bend that up a little bit because I want a little bit of dimension on that bow. Oh, there's posh. Excuse the splodge of glue on my wrist. I'm sticking to everything. I'm using tweezers that are not my own and I can't get used to this, the fact you have to squeeze them to open them. That's just, <laughs> that's just plain weird. Right, let's get the glue off now. So you can keep hold of things. Right, Karen, you can have to help me. What, what sentiment should I have on there? Have you stamped any sentiments yet? No. None at all. Um, so I've got my Scotty dog on there. Looking at this Scotty dog here that's just having nothing to do with this Scotty dog. It's like, don't look at me. It's got a bit of a sack on, hasn't it? It's got a what? Is that a northern expression? It is a northern expression, yeah. Pardon the southerner, she doesn't speak the Queen's English. It means he's a bit fed up with him. Oh, right, okay. Yeah, he's we got say... a sack on. <laughs> I just say they're a bit fed up where I come from. <laughs> right. Uh, uh, what should we have? Um, I don't think any I of those. I thought I did have... Um, that's the happy birthday, it's in the middle. What was one of those? Um, just for you. Just for you. So I'm going to hold up proceedings now. because trying now to get I'll, around him now, isn't I'll it? I'll need to, um, I just need a little banner or something, or something to, right, have you got a punch? Have you got a tag punch or something, or a something punch? Let me have a look. Triple banner punch, will that do? It might be too big, but I can slice a bit off. Let's have a go. That should be fine. I don't think I've got anything else to pour Right, let's just get my... Um... oval punch, if you want that. Yeah. Yeah, let's have the dinky oval punch. Thank you. Probably my just for you won't fit. Might fit in the bigger one. Now I'll have to move my dogs. No, I want him looking at her. I don't know if it's him or her. <laughs> <laughs> oh, why don't um, you just um, stamp it and then just cut round it? I don't have to, aren't I? Just stamp it against a straight edge and then cut around it. Can you tell we didn't plan this right the way through? This is Just called kind of, this is crafting on the hoof. Yes, ad hoc crafting with a southerner and a northerner. I'm going to do one more because I'm still not happy that's not straight. <laughs> That's better. That's better. I'll pack away. This is the tidy corner. This is the messy corner. Yeah, I'm going to take a picture later and show the <laughs> carnage that you've left behind. I just go home and say, see you, Karen. <laughs> back again in a few weeks for some more carnage. I'm back in a month. Oh, that'll be good. We'll have to plan it in advance next time. Yeah. So that we know what we're doing before you get here. I'm back in five weeks. I think I've totally gone off camera now. So nobody knows what I'm doing. You might still be there. Just, yeah. Okay. Yeah, you will. You just talk amongst yourselves. <laughs> <laughs> Sorting this out. That's better. Yeah, just need to slice a little bit off the top. That might be 
be all day. And I'm slicing bits off. So all the instructions and the measurements will be over on both of our blogs. Yes. Um, sometime later this weekend, probably. Sometime in the future. <laughs> Dimensionals, I did bring me own, but they're on this desk somewhere. Yeah. <laughs> Thank you. Just keep passing all the stuff to the right. <laughs> it just all keeps mounting up. <laughs> She's such a messy crafter. I am. She'll go home and I won't be able to find anything. No, probably because it's in the bag. <laughs> <laughs> Quite possibly. <laughs> I really like how different these are looking. Just totally different. Mm. And I like the idea that you said you could do a Westie. Didn't even think of that. Well, somebody will probably come on and tell me they don't have black eyes, but... Um... Oh, well. Do you know it's what? my Westie. It's your Westie. Right, let's just put some couple of dimensionals on the back here and we are done this one needs an eyeball too is it what an evil eyeball well he's an, an, an eyeball otherwise he won't be able to see her even though she is sulking yeah not looking at him right i'm going to put that there like that she's looking away i'm not looking at you right eyeball Looks better on that one than... Oh, that one's come out all right. Yeah. Maybe that one's a bit higher. Yeah. Anyway. Sort it out later. later. Artistic so now, interpretation. Exactly. So then we can just pop that underneath like that. Yep. So there you go. Two flip-flop cards. Joyful cards. Whatever you want to call them. Whatever you want to call them. Made with the Christmas Scotty. But not looking very Christmassy. No. <laughs> Christmas Scotty for all year round. Yeah, definitely. <laughs> so thanks very much for watching. And don't forget, you'll see, you'll get all the um, details over on our blogs. Details will be in the description bar below um, at some point very soon. But thanks very much for watching. See you see again you. soon. See you soon. Bye. Bye-bye. <laughs>